Rockefeller and Associates could soon be sold to an American competitor. The deal, which needs federal approval, would leave a sophisticated radar system in foreign hands. And as CTV's Craig Oliver reports, there are concerns this is a sale that the government will one day regret. Welcome back. In Zimbabwe, there are growing reports of a police crackdown. A top opposition party official says police have raided party offices and ransacked other rooms used by the party at a hotel. Police in riot gear also entered a hotel in Harar housing foreign journalists. Police now confirm they have arrested two reporters. Earlier today, embattled President Robert Mugabe held a meeting with his top leadership to decide how to proceed following last week's elections. Harry Sterling is a former diplomat who served twice in Africa and is an Ottawa... America's struggling airline industry now has another casualty. This morning, the discount carrier ATA Airlines declared bankruptcy and canceled all of its flights. And as Wendy Birch reports, thousands of passengers across the country are now paying the price. It's the home of the United Nations headquarters, and these days, New York City is becoming an international showcase for home buyers. With a low U.S. dollar, the strong euro is prompting more and more people from across the Atlantic to take a long, hard look at Manhattan. Richard Roth has the story. Coming up, it was supposed to be a routine ride to the hospital. Now the